Welcome to MSA Sports Center Sage. Andy Stanko here with South Orleans. Zach Leedy. Zach with 13 points in South Orleans. 68-39 win over Derry. A big win. The Leedy brothers, yourself, Doug, John, almost outscored Derry. 33 for you guys. What's it like with all three of you now on the varsity team? How does that work? Well, it, uh, when we were younger, we always played together. We always talked about, like, when we're in high school that we get the chance to play with each other. And like we all are good at different things, we all excel like at certain spots and we never really collide on the court either. So it's just it's like a good chemistry that we don't really we just learned on the bands better than most people. And this is a year where all three of you are together. Last year a very good team for you guys. This year you came out and lost the season opener. What changed, at least section opener, what changed between the section opener and tonight's win against there? Really our energy. Uh, last Friday we came out with no energy and just didn't play like we knew how to. And then we pretty much underestimated Salem. But tonight we came out with the energy we needed to win. Just got it done. I was really impressed with you guys defensively. Probably the most aggressive 2 3 zone I've seen out of a high school team in a long time. What do you guys try to do, especially out of that look? Just keep our hands up and use our length because not many teams have the length we have. So that gives us a big advantage. How much does it ha help having Brandon Stone behind you being 6'9, 6 6'10? 6 oh, it, it's huge. It's a nice thing to know that you have a kid that tall behind you. He can get most boards. And, Doug, too, there's not many people that can get a rebound between. So, it's nice. I'm here with junior guard Zach Lighty, 13 points tonight. Zach coming up Indiana and to the rest of the year in this section. How important is it to get up, get excited for that game, and, and play hard and protect home court? Oh, it's very important. <clears throat> this, uh, it, like Indiana was the projected to win the section, so we got to come out and prove that we can win, to, we can win it, too. What did you learn from last season's journey, getting to the postseason? What's the ceiling for your team this year? Oh, the ceiling's pretty high. Last year, like we had two starters return. Like without Tommy, it was big. It was a big loss. But with Brandon getting more experience, it really helped. So we're a little, little more experienced, and we should do well. Finally, how has this team adjusted now without Tommy Pasula? Are you guys there yet? Is it still a work in progress? I'd say we're pretty much there. We all like we all contribute. <clears throat> Tommy was a big loss, but we've all like pieced it together and uh, came together as a team and worked well. All right, thank you for joining me, Zach Lady, South Moreland's MSA Center Stage.